And hello everybody, welcome to the channel. Today we're gonna make an updated 2026 undervolting guide for the RTX 5080. Uh, my old guide is still working. Uh, it's not that outdating, but I saw that uh, the performance profiles, it is really, really basic. And I want to do a bit of different profiles from basic to, to actually gain some more performance. So we're going to start with profile 1. We're going to use the correct method. The incorrect method would be like a single point method. So that is this one. And yeah, let's actually show why that isn't uh, good to do. So for example, we're going uh, from 950 to 3100. Yes, we hit apply. Did you guys see the clock change? Yeah, me neither. So, that is why we don't do that. Oh, uh, for the people who said you have to flatten this. Okay, I'm going to do that too. Let's do that. Let's apply it. Yeah, the clock is still the same. Maybe that is because there is a huge increase here all of a sudden. And GPUs in general don't like that. So... Now we get that out of the way, that we see that that isn't really working and that is why it is for most people stable. Because it isn't working that great. So let's go back. So we're going to the correct way. Let's start with a really basic one if you just want lower wattage and lower temperatures. So we see we use between 270 and 280 watts at the moment. Our temps fluctuate between 60 degrees and let's say 63 degrees at the moment. So then we go to 925. We're taking the 925 point. We're holding shift. We're bringing it up until like 29-ish, a little bit below it. Yeah, let's say 2895. We're holding shift again right next to it. We're dragging all the way to the right. We're taking the point next to it. We're dragging it all the way down. And here we hit apply. Now what did this do? We get a little bit increase in clock speeds. We get a decrease in temps. Just a little bit. And our power uh, usage is lower. And we gained 1 FPS. So this is really... To get some uh, yeah like basically the same fps for lower wattage if we want to go further we go to the power limit and we type in 85 we hit enter we apply it then we're using even less and the fps is still about the same so let's call this profile one let, let me delete my old profile one uh, my old profile five so if you want to save this oh and what we also going to do actually we're going to put here for this profile 1500 because 1500 is stable on about every gpu we even gained two fps you see we have now 70 fps we're going to click the save icon we're going to click the one so now if we click one and hit apply it is the same profile applied so we're having the same FPS. We're having a little bit more FPS than stock. We're having lower temps and lower wattage usage. So if your reason is, if this is the reason, to have basically everything the same, but to use a little bit less power and have your temps a bit lower, then go with this profile. If you want a little bit higher and that is still an undervolt, but you want a little bit higher FPS, what you can do, so let's reset it, is we are going to 950. We're clicking the point. We are holding shift and we're gonna drag it to around 3000. Because this will work for almost every 5080 GPU. Then we're holding shift again. We're taking all this we're dragging the next point all the way to the bottom. We're hitting apply. 
and then we're going to this the megahertz we're typing in 2000 we hit enter we hit apply the power limit we can get we we can leave at 100 and i'm going to save this as profile 2 so now when i hit save uh, hit profile 2 hit apply now we are having this profile applied we gained a little bit of fps our temps it is still lower than stock and our wattage is also still lower than stock but we can go further and don't worry if you crash you can just restart your pc that is why we're not setting this program to start up on windows at the moment because we're still experimenting so what if we want more then we go back again i'm taking the 950 point again this should be stable on most but some won't be stable on it so yeah just test this out for yourself to about 3100 again we're making this we're holding shift when doing this by the way and now without shift just drag this point all the way down hit apply apply 2000 megahertz to the memory we're going to save this profile as pro profile 3 we're hitting it oh. going to save this profile as profile 3 yes now we're applying it and now we gained another fps our power is still below stock and our temps are still below stock and we increase some fps because if we go to stock this is stock. We're having 68 FPS between 275 and 280 watts. Our temperatures is between 61 and 65. And with profile 3, we're having a bit more. So yeah, and then another profile. What some people do, which isn't stable on every system, but I'm going to show you anyway, is they go to 975. They hold shift, they go to 3200. They flatten the line. We hit apply. We hitting save on profile 4. We adding 2000 megahertz. We hitting apply. We hitting save. And yeah, let's save this for profile 5. Enter. So when we do this profile, hit enter. We gained a lot more FPS, our clock is 3100 megahertz ish Our power is the same as stock, our temps is also the same as stock. So use this one. If your GPU can handle it, it is safe to use this one. At least it is not less safe than stock performance. Like if your GPU would die on stock, it would die on this. Like <laughs> So if you guys liked the video, please subscribe to the channel, put a like, put a comment, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye!